Hello everyone. This video shows how to build Mathematism's amazing hollow diagonal cube. The way you start off is you make a square with four magnets like that and then add a ring of eight magnets around this to form a bowl shape. So that's the eight magnets that we've added and you can see it forms a kind of a bowl. Then add two magnets to each side. Just like that, which extends the, the bowl out a little further. And then lay it down on a, on a uh, flat surface and then you're going to push these eight magnets down. Everything else is going to stay the same, just moving those, those eight outer magnets down. So what you have now is a kind of a square shape. It looks like this on the bottom and this on the top. That's the basic starting point. I'm going to take a single magnet and put it in the middle of this square forming a nice 3 by 3 square. Then we're going to add another, a third layer on top of this two layer structure. To do that, I'm going to make another 2 by 2 square and add it right down on the middle of the top. Then we're going to add two magnets here and here. and slide them up until they make contact with the top square and then add a magnet into the hollow space created. Do the same for each side and at this step it makes sense it's easiest if, if the magnets first contact that middle layer of magnets, not the bottom and not the top. Contact right here and here, slide them up to the top, put a magnet in the middle and then I'm going to push the corner in to make sure the magnets are all seated properly. Just like that. So now what you have is a, a diagonal wall that uh, has a thickness of three magnets, one, two, three. The top looks the same as the bottom. So the next step is to run the magnet chain diagonally around the outside of this structure. So I'm just following the contours going zigzagging, zigzagging back and forth all the way around the outside of or around the, the edge of that and this is what you see both the bottom and the top. And the next step is to fill in magnets into these hollow spaces. One right here, here here and here. And then we're going to build out these corners. It's going to look just like we did with the last step where you take two magnets and try and attach them to this magnet here. Push them up to there and then and then add a magnet into the corner and then make sure the corner is solid. Okay, we've just successfully added another layer to the outside of this structure. Again, the top looks the same as the bottom, but it's good to keep the top and the bottom um, identified because if you start working on the bottom and wrapping magnets around this way, the polarity is going to be wrong.
So let's add another layer. Etc. So this one looks a little bit different. You see that you have the beveled surfaces on opposite sides, and these are beveled in the opposite direction. So if you turn it over, the bottom side has these two beveled, and, and the other two come out sharply. Then you pretty much just follow your nose like you did before by adding magnets wherever it's needed to complete this layer. One goes there, 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 and there. And then on the back side, you're going to want to add four magnets also. One, two, three, four. And then the last step is to complete the corners. We're going to do that just like we did before. And then you can continue on until you've added as many layers as you want to. Yeah, that's a pretty good size. The next step is to start building the walls. So I think we'll just use this size as our size. Eventually, the structure is going to have a, a wall thickness not of three, but of two. So the first thing I'm going to do is to note that this one back and forth zigzag set of, of magnets is going to be the right wall. This will be the top, this will be the left, and this will be the bottom wall. I want to re remove one layer of magnets inside that area. Just like that. And then to start building the walls, we're going to do a zigzag pattern in the walls themselves. We'll just add one layer at a time. Cross like that. And this step, <clears throat> you don't just go zigzag, but it makes, it helps the wall to be more stable if you push this magnet over into its place while holding this wall holding both ends stably. The wall has a tendency to expand, so I hold two fingers here. Don't just move the chain over here, but grab this magnet and push it into place. And then add another layer. You could add the, a, a magnet right here, but it tends to be unstable. So it's better to add it after we've added the next layer. Okay, so what you see is this. It's starting to take a, a shape of a hollow cube. Now we're going to add 
two magnets here. Roll them up to the top and then put a magnet into the corner. Just like that. Okay, so the edge count will be one, two, and then there'll be a third magnet that will go here when we finish this. So the next step we're going to do is to build one of these, build the top half, this will be the bottom half, we're going to build the top half of it. And to do that, if you want to wind them in the same way, then it's easiest if you use the opposite end of the chain that you've been using in order to get the polarity right. So I wind my magnets on spools, so instead of using this end of the chain, I'm going to use the other end of the chain. And I can just pull off the spool from this direction. And I'm going to build one of these just like this, except it will have one fewer layers on it. So now we have, uh, we're just counting layers. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven layers. I want to make sure that that coincides with the number of layers this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and sure enough, it does. Now, remembering that we've we've built this top part upside down, but with the opposite end of the chain, when we turn this over, its polarity should match the original, and with a little luck, it does. And then all that is uh, missing now is to pop a magnet in each one of these uh, corners. And that is Mathematism's amazing design for a hollow diagonal cube. Just amazing. This can be built in a lot of different sizes. He's, he has a huge one that he's built, and, and he uh, indicates that it can even be built larger than that. And that's the hollow diagonal cube by Mathematism.